Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about how to develop and maintain a growth mindset with your coaching training business. Now, something I get asked on a regular basis from coaches is I get I get I receive emails about coaches who are who are going through tough times with their business. And being a, being a business owner myself, I know how difficult the day to day is. Now, if you have a family and you have a full time business, it can become very, very overwhelming. Right. There's a lot of admi administration that you have to do as a business owner. If you have staff, you've got to manage them. Right. You also have to do the day to day of going backwards and forwards with clients, dealing with payments, structuring payments. Right. All of those things. And at the same time, you know, you have to commit to, to your family as well. So I know how difficult it is because I've been doing this for over over four years now, going five. And I've been through moments and stages with, with my own business that I was close to quitting because I got burnt out doing too many sessions. I got overwhelmed with clients. And also I was going for a tough time uh, on a personal uh, level as well. So there's three things I look at which will really help you and I want you to take note and pay, pay clo close attention to it because these three things that I'm, I'm going to share with you today are three things that are really, really going to help you when you come, you come through or you go through a stage in your business where you have to pick yourself up and you have to keep going, right? There, there's going to be moments within your business where it's going to get difficult, right? Clients might leave you. You might be working with difficult clients and it's very difficult to get rid of them. Uh, you might have competition in your, in your local area, right? Your competitor wants to try and take you out of business. They're doing everything they can. And um, you might be going through problems at home within, within your family that and that's starting to affect your business because you're, you're not putting hundred percent focus into that. Right. So there's a lot of things that can happen, but I want you to focus on these three things because these three things are, are, are things that I had to sit down and I did. And it, it ultimately helped me through the tough times. Right now, these three things aren't going to help everyone because everyone's at different stages with their business. Everyone's got different problems. Right. Not every problem out there is the same. But. If you take note of these three things and you, you transfer them into your, your situation, they might be able to help. And hopefully they do, right? So if you want to speak to me about your business, you, if you want to start, grow or scale, get in contact with me. I make it a mission every single day to speak with coaches. So there's two ways you can do that. Either send me a email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com with any questions you might have. Or you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we jump on Zoom. I can ask you some questions, get to know you, connect with you and show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your training business. Right. So the first thing that I look at is thinking long term. Now, when I think long term is I'm thinking about what's my business going to look like or what is my life going to look like in, in five years from now. So when I think of the business, I think, OK, how do I want my business to be structured? Do I want it to be just working with groups? Do I want to just be working what with one on one clients? Do I want to have coaches who are running the sessions for me? Uh, how many days a week do I want to be training? Do I want to take time off? so I can go and spend it with family, go on vacation. Right? What, how do I want my business to look like? Most coaches don't think this way, right? Most coaches aren't thinking in the next three to five years with their business. Most coaches are just thinking in the next three to five months, what, how they're getting by. Okay? And that's because most coaches don't have proper structure with their business, right? They don't have proper payment systems. They don't have clients on, on long-term agreements. There's no contracts in place with clients. Uh, there's no set day, set time. 
with with the training. But when you have all of that in place, and this is something we work with coaches, we help them to do, then you will know that in five years from now, right, I want to be training one day a week. I want to be working with up to 30 clients. I want to be earning six figures per year. I want to be focusing only on group training. My preferred age group is nine to 12. Uh, and ultimately, I want to have clients on long-term agreements. Okay, Clients who are paying me uh, for six to 12 months upfront uh, for training. So <coughs> when I go through that, you will realize, okay, this is, this is how he wants his business to look like in five years. So these are the type of things that you need to be thinking of when you think in the long term, right? So how many clients you want to be working with? How many days a week you want to be training? How many, how many weeks per year do you want to take vacation? How many sessions do you want to do per week? You know, how many groups do you want to have? How many clients do you want to train, right? So I know I've probably repeated myself, but these are the questions you should be asking yourself because if you have that in lockdown, then you will think long-term with your business, okay? Because once you have that that long-term image, then you know that, right, I need to take these baby steps every single week, every single day to get to that image that I have with my business. Right, so that's number one. Second, <coughs> I apologize, I've got a bad cough. Um, second is repetition, right? So when I started my business, I remember I was awful at sales, right? I was terrible at sales. I remember the first two or three calls that I had with parents, I would stutter. I would be like, uh, yeah, Miss Jones, uh, our training is, uh, this is the cost. I had no confidence at all on the call, right? But what I started to realize is the more reps that I was having on these calls, the more confidence and motivation I had to speak with more parents, right? Some calls aren't going to go well. Some calls will go well. But repetition helps you to get to perfection and confidence, right? I don't believe in a perfect call because ultimately... There's always, there's, there's always going to be one area of improvement you can make with your, with your sales process. But with time comes more confidence, okay? So num the second point is repetition, right? Second way to develop a growth mindset, to build your confidence and continue to grow and scale your business every single month is get on more, more sales calls with parents. Talk to more parents, Right, become really confident at speaking with parents in person, over the phone, over Zoom, right? And even go and visit different organizations and put yourself out there. The more you do that, the more confidence you will start to develop and you will start to get results, right? Repetition builds results eventually, okay? And I know this is something coaches don't want to do. Right. Coaches don't want to get on calls with parents. They rather go back and forth with a text message. But ultimately, what I started to realize, and this is something that a lot of coaches uh, notice as well when, when it comes to their business, is that if you go back and forth with parents over a text message, sometimes your message gets lost in the text. Right. Sometimes the way you want to express something comes across differently to how parents are, are interpreting your information, right? So get on a call with, with the parent, speak to them and get yourself out there so you get more reps and ultimately your business will start to grow, your mindset will start to grow and you'll start to, to love and enjoy again what you're doing, right? Now, the third one is organization, right? Staying organized with your business. This was something I was terrible at, at the beginning of, of when I started my business, right? I was unorganized. I used to live my days day by day. I used to wake up late. Uh, I used to go to bed late and I just didn't have any structure. All I had structure with was my training sessions. Apart from that, 
I didn't make any time for my marketing. I didn't structure my sales calls. I had no script for my sales calls. I didn't know what to say when I got on the calls with parents. And all of that came down to structure and organization. Now, what I do today is very different to what I did when I first started. And today I've got my planner here, right? And this breaks down my day to day, right? My hour by hour. What time am I waking up? What time am I having breakfast? What time am I going to the gym? What time do I need to, to get on a call with, with a coach, right? In, in, our, in our company? What time am I coaching clients on the field? What time do I need to leave for work? What time do I start work? What time do I finish? What time do I have a dinner? Right now, this might sound really extreme, but that's how I try to live my day to day. Okay, maximize every single hour I can. And also, if I do that, then I build a lot of free time into my day as well, because I know that if I go hour by hour in the morning, by the evening, I'm going I'm going to be free to do whatever I want. Okay, because I've got all my work done early in the day. Now, Coaches don't do this because they don't understand the importance of structure and organization. That's why a lot of coaches don't last very long with their business, right? Most coaches go out of business within within three years of being in business. And it's because they've got no structure, they've got no organization, they've got no self-discipline, right? And they've got just no motivation to, to continue to grow their business, right? Having a business is not about just simply training, training, training clients, right? Building a business is about creating a lifestyle for you and your family that you guys can enjoy and at the same time have a business that is paying your family, okay? But in order to do that, you need to get to a point where you step away from all that training, training, training Give it to someone else and you can focus on the business rather than staying in the business constantly. Okay, Because if you are always in the business, then again, you're not going to have time to spend with your family, which is ultimately going to affect your relationship. You're not going to have time for yourself, which is going to lead to burnout, which is going to lead you to frustration, which can ultimately lead you to quitting your business. So... Being really structured, being really organized is really important. Something we teach coaches in our program and at our company, the, the coaches we work with, is how to structure how to structure the day. Okay, so how to make sure that you plan to, tomorrow, today, how to break down your hour by hour, how to make sure you're structuring your marketing so that you can get all your marketing done for the next three to six months. So that's something that you don't have to worry about. Okay. And just how to be more productive with your day, because if you are more productive, then you're going to be getting more results, which will lead to more self-esteem, more confidence, and ultimately a more growth mindset because you will be getting results, right? Your business will be growing. You'll be able to expand You'll be able to earn more money, provide for your family, spend more time with your family. And all of that comes down to being really organized and structured with your day to day and hour by hour. Okay. so if this is something you need help with, again, get in contact with me. There's two ways to do that. First one is send me an email to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. And then the second one, you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call where we can jump on Zoom, I can learn more about your business, see where you are, see where you want to get to, okay? And I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale what you're doing, right? I've been working with coaches for a number of years now. I've helped coaches get from doing it part-time or a little side hustle to then get into six figures where they're doing it full-time. They have staff that are working for them, where they get to spend time with their family, they go on vacations, right? And when those coaches are on vacations, the business is growing and scaling because they're, they've got structure they've, and everything's organized so that they're able to 
live a happier life, right? And they're able to enjoy the time with their family, right? And their business is, is, is growing and succeeding. So again, get in contact with me. You can jump on a, a free call. I'd love to see where you are, see where you want to get to and learn a little bit more about what you're doing. Okay. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.